Hi. <laughs> oh lord, I'm terrible at intros. Anyway, we're doing a hair transformation. That's correct. They're doing a hair transformation, lads. I got bleach. I got brush. Am I out of frame? Constant struggle for me. Just I'm such a I'm so good at YouTube. Anyway, um, I got my developer. You know what they say? I don't really know what they say. But look at my makeup. Isn't it cool? I look really cool right now, and I've kind of cool up and on. I'm vibing, but also I made the earrings. This is gonna be chaotic. It's like, what time is it? Literally 5.30. So like, I'm getting into like that weird. Oh, I thought that was a ghost. That was just my dog on the floor. Hey, hi Oscar. He's tired because we just went on a walk. Anyway, listen up homies. We're doing a hair transformation today. I'm going blonde and then at some point going radiant orchid. There's going to be a lot of British accents in this today for, for, for some reason. Um, I'm going to go change into a, an old shirt and then I'll be back and I'll tell you what we're going to do because it's pretty exciting and I'm excited and it's really exciting because I haven't done my hair in a while. It's been in my natural colour which is a really dark brown and I need a change. I need a change because I'm losing my mind. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be back. Okay, bye. I came back. Um, I have a bowl. It's not a mixing bowl, I know, because even though I'm in cosmetology school, I am using this. Deal with it. It's um, a plastic container that I used for for water before when I was painting. But anyway, that's what we're using. I got my scale, and we're gonna read the freaking instructions, homie. Okay. Whoa! I actually got the right developer. I was literally in like Sally's like freaking out, but I got the right one. And also it's 30 volume, in case you were wondering. And this is the Prism Lights Violet Bleach from Salon Care. It's supposed to like cancel out um, yellow or brassy tones. Also I really hope Brad Mondo watched my video. I think I'd cry. He's a king. Okay. One scoop of powder to two scoops of developer in a non-metallic bowl. Okay. So I think the thing that I'm going to do is section my hair first and then I'm going to start in the back. Yes, I watched Brad Mondo's video on how to bleach your hair today so it wouldn't be a mess. So I'm going to do that, I'm going to section it, clip it up, and then I'm going to mix my bleach. I don't really know how much to make, but um, I guess if I need to make more we can. And then I'm going to start from the back, go up, and then wait about 10 or 15 minutes and then do my roots and leave it on for like 45 minutes. And I think that'll be good. Because we don't want to get hot roots in this house. We absolutely do not. Brad Mondo, if you're listening, I love you. And you're an icon and this is why I'm listening to you. Okay? So, let me... What do I have to do? Oh, right. I have to get a comb and section my hair. BRB. Okay. I got, whoa, English. I got um, my rat tail comb and my duck bill clips. Now let's do this thing. Let's see. You should be good at sectioning here, right? You would think. Okay. So I think we have a pretty decent middle part for the fact that my hair doesn't like to cooperate with me. Um, and also I can't see the back of my head because I'm not with an alien. Let me just clip that down while I section this side out. And then I'm gonna go the apex. Kind of just section down to the outside of my ear. Like that. And I kind of bring all this hair forward. Good lord, I didn't realize how difficult it was to section short hair. Okay, now that I look like the, one of the Jonas Brothers, on the side of my head. I'm gonna take all that hair 
that I sectioned like this to the front and kind of attempt to pin it in a way. Okay, that was pretty terrible. Proud of it. Okay, so I kind of have to like use two clips because my hair is all one length, which means that the top is like, doesn't really reach the bottom. So I'm gonna kind of pin it in probably like six sections, but just know that it's like, it's four. I'm just doing this for my own personal like, yeah, you, know, you know what I mean. I'm doing it so I understand what I'm doing. Also, I feel like I might keep my hair blonde for a hot second, but like before I decide to put the purple ion dye in it, because I don't know, dude. Like, I just feel like I want like a moment. You know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna, I need my moment. I do. And that's just how it goes, and that's just how it be. So, like, come for me. But don't though, because I would cry. Okay. All right. We got, oh, this side's definitely better than the other side. But I definitely underestimated the difficulties of doing this with short hair. See, this is the worst sections I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't know what the back looks like. Let me know. How's it look? Also, yeah, I'm wearing shorts. Um. It's the middle of winter. We're gonna measure out bleach now. I'll have to open this. Ooh, there you go. It says, what does it say? One scoop of powder, two scoops of developer. Oh, what, what, what's the scoop? There's no scoop in here. I guess I'll just do like... I'm gonna need a second. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. I got my gloves on. Um, these are like the worst gloves in the history of the universe, but um, I gotta work with them, so. Also, my hands get really sweaty. TMI, I know, but like, that's just the truth. And you're gonna have to live with that now. But anyway, I mixed three ounces. I did one ounce of the powder and two ounces of developer. I hope that's okay. Um, obviously, like I said, if I need more, I'm just going to mix it. But this is what it looks like. Fun and purple. We're going to max it now. Oh, it's clumpy. Oh, no. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Maybe I should have done it like a different way. I feel like this isn't right. Oh! Oh, it hit me. Oh, it hit me. Oh, love. Maybe I just have a little bit. I'm just gonna mix it. I feel like I might have to add more powder, but also it didn't say to do that. So like, moral dilemma, if you know what I mean. But I guess, oh, okay, that's not bad. It kind of got thicker when I mixed it. It's such a pretty purple. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need more, but I'm just gonna start with this. Actually, I'm not gonna start with this. Like, you can fight me if you want, but I'm literally not, so, like... I'm going to add... Probably, like, another... Let's just double that. Oh, frick. Like, go off, I guess. Splattering on the floor. Also, like, I kind of want a hair change because... I feel like everything is just so boring in my life right now. Like, literally everything is, like, boring as hell. So, oh, frick, I put a little too much. But, you know, like, I need something exciting, you know? And my hair's been this boring brown, boring-ass brown for so long. Sorry, just a body word. Don't listen to me. Um, I just, like, needed a change. Because growing my hair out is, like, kind of not fun. Like, it looks cool, but... I kind of like just want it to be over so I can have longer hair or at least hair long enough to like get extensions and, and put extensions in but for right now it's still like a weird mullet length 
which I, I like it, but like something needs to change. And so that's why we have Bleichluff. Look at that! It looks like freaking like frosting or something and I really want to eat it, but no, don't do it. My strange addiction, am I right? Anyway, I'll be right back. I'm gonna put this in the kitchen. I'm back. Okay, I'm gonna start on this bottom right side because I feel like that's probably the easiest way place to start. And I hate wearing gloves because my hands get all sweaty in there and then I feel like I can't actually feel anything. But anyway, we're just gonna start applying and really saturate the hair because I know Brad loves that. Oh, there's no going back. Oh, it's already getting to my eyes. I can feel it. I can feel it burning in my eyeballs. Okay, is it bad if I put it on my neck like that? Maybe. I can't see what I'm doing though, so. Also, I'm supposed to be avoiding the roots, and I just completely forgot about that. But that's why we do the first piece in the back. Okay. Okay, y'all. Just trying to really saturate it. Okay, next section. Really, really tiny section. I'm gonna come back when I'm done with this first back section and kind of let y'all know how it's going. But until then, like, ciao. How do I turn this off? I don't know how it's going, but it's going somewhere. That's all my hair back there. In that section, I feel like it's gonna be good. Um, but obviously, I don't know. But I'm going to start this side, the other side, and try to get that started. Um, I'm trying to put as much as I can, like as much bleach as I can, on this and like kind of just like really getting it in there. But obviously it's really difficult when you can't see anything. It's already lightning. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's definitely already lightning. And it looks kind of crazy. Which is what we're going for! Because the last time I dyed, or um, I bleached my hair, I first of all definitely didn't have enough bleach. And secondly, I like... I didn't put enough. Like, I didn't saturate it like this. But that's what you really need to do if you want to get good results, because can't just, you know, put barely any and expect to get the lift that you want. I feel like this side is going to be better, which is not good. They should be the same. I don't want my sides to be different. Oh, look how light that side is getting. Oh, the bleach is getting into my brain. I think I'm going insane. Definitely going insane. I'm gonna mix some more bleach for the front sections after this. Last time I was scared to like put a decent amount of bleach on my hair because I didn't want it to be damaged, but it's already gonna be damaged because you're bleaching your hair. So you have to put on like the right amount. So it'll be damaged, but it'll look good. Because that's what we want. You want it to look good. Damaged, but good. So I think I got that side all done. Um, I'm going to open, open. I'm gonna take out this side now and take a little section down there. Clip up the rest. There you go. There you go. That's better. Oh, now it's like really close to my face and I'm feeling it. Okay, I think I'm going to show you guys one front section and then I'll do the other front section and then I'll wait 
like maybe 15 minutes just to get like those areas that aren't the root. Wow, I just dropped some. All processed and done and stuff and then we'll come back and I'll do the root. I don't know, does that sound good? Does that sound good, homie? Look how light this is. Sexy. JK. Rowan. I don't like her. Love Harry Potter though. Not the character, but I like the books. And the movies. Ron Weasley's the best character, and he's my love. He's the love of my life. Ron Weasley ate me up. Okay. So, now that I have this, we are back into the sweaty gloves. Back into my moist, delicious, sweaty gloves that do oh so much for me. Gonna continue this section with my bleach brush. Oh, frick you! Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I dropped the brush and I freaked out, so that's that, I guess. Um, yeah, there's bleach on the counter. Um, love that. I better clean it up or my mom's gonna murder me, so give me a second. Sorry, mom. It's okay. Oh my god, I just threw one of my clips on the ground. It literally flew. She said bye. She was like, I'm out. This is too much for me. Honestly, same girl, but like, I have to say and do this to my hair. All right. Let's saturate those ends. I hope you can hear me all over all like the gloves and stuff that's going on right now. Wow, that part of my hair is so light. I don't know if y'all can see the back there. It's pretty light. <laughs> this is so scary. Also, oh my god, I didn't mention this. I'm bleaching my eyebrows too. Because I want to go full alien. Like, I, I've always been scared to bleach my eyebrows, but I've always wanted to. And I feel like now is just the time because I'm really looking for like a different look. And I really want to be different, I want to stand out, even though everybody bleaches their brows. I'm gonna do it too. So I can look cool and really awesome. I've been watching so many videos of people dyeing their hair and um, a lot of times it's like you don't expect it to go well and then somehow they like pull through and it looks like professional. That's, I feel like that's not the case with me. Like if I, if it looks like it's not gonna work for me, it's not. Like don't get your hopes up. I'm not like a freaking magic worker. Like some of those girls who do their hair and you're like, wow, that does not look good. Like it's gonna turn out really badly. And then they're like, ta-da, and they look like a freaking like supermodel. Literally how? Like give me some of that juice because I wanna be able to look that cool when I freaking mess up my hair. Are you kidding me? Instead I'm gonna look like a, like a goblin if I mess mine up. Like an actual goblin, a goblin of. Have you guys ever seen that dude on TikTok? Who's like, he's so funny. He always uses that voice too, is that amazing? Today, it's like the, and I love, like that kind of voice. And he talks about the most random things and like makes these really chaotic videos and talks about how his mom like hates that he's so like crazy. I don't, I don't know what his name is. He's so funny. And I literally like crack up at all of his TikToks. You all wanna hear a funny story? I had an ombre in um, in sixth grade. I got my hair done for the first time, like bleached and everything. And um, I got, it was like an ombre, but it was the worst ombre that you've ever seen in your entire life. Like this lady literally, there was like a line. It was my hair color and then literally a line and then like orange. Like she didn't tone it, she didn't do nothing. I told her I wanted an ombre from brown to blonde and she literally put a line in my hair. I was like, Miss Girl, this is not what I asked for. And then I went to school and then like the next year, the most popular girl in my school got the same hair as me. I was like, <laughs> she copied me. But I didn't tell anybody that because nobody liked me and everybody liked her. And um, that's just how it goes. So 
basically moral of the story, she stole my hair and everybody thought she was hot. Everybody thought it looked stupid, so. Anyway, I'm not popular, so that's how that goes. These sections are turning into diagonal sections. Not entirely sure how that happened, but it happened somehow, so. Fun times, I guess. I'm really glad that my mom and my brother aren't here right now because they'd be so annoyed at me, like, being annoying right now in front of the camera. They'd be like, shut up! You're so loud! Whatever. You guys love me, right? I don't know, there are probably people from my school who watch this and are like, wow, she's so annoying. This is why she has no friends. But, you know what? Freak you guys! I don't need friends. I don't need friends. They disappoint me. I tried out for my school musical. Um, maybe at this point that this is out, you'll know if I got in or not. If I did get in, I'll tell you guys right now. I'll put in the little editor's note and be like, yo, 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 you got in. But I feel like this year I'm actually good at singing. Like, don't at me, but I kind of thought I sucked before. I still kind of have that, that idea now, but I'm trying not to think like that. Um, but you know, I feel like this year, if I don't get in, it's like kind of not my fault, you know? Because the video that I filmed was actually really good. It was me singing Gravity with the piano. Like I was playing the piano too. And it was actually like really good. in the musical. I'm a junior and I haven't been in a musical yet, so, you know, I've been in the play, but not the musical, and I would like to be. Thank you very much. Hi everybody. I finished the red, like the main part of this. As you can see, this part has definitely gotten quite light, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm hoping that it's going to be even. Um, I did just finish this top left section, and of course I'm going to go back in and do some, do the roots after probably like 7 to 10 minutes, just so everything can lift decently, and then, you know, I'll go in with the roots, and I'll see you then, I guess. See you soon. Like Brad Munderson said in his video, that I will link in the description, um, I'm gonna wash out the back sections of my hair first. My mom and my brother are coming home now, so my mom can help me wash out the back. Um, but you know, I definitely wanna um, allow a little more time for the front to process, because it hasn't gotten all that time yet. With me, you know, doing the back first, and then moving up to the front. So I'm gonna leave that one in a little longer then the back sections even after I do the roots. My eyes hurt from constantly looking to the side like this. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Um, this is looking overall decent and I'm really happy about it. So I'm gonna pack some of this bleach now on my eyebrows and hope it doesn't burn my eyes off. Oh, I don't know how to do this. Oh, I'm scared. Oh God, pray for me. Oh God, here comes the doubt. Here comes the doubt of, oh, hey Lore, maybe you shouldn't be doing this. Maybe you shouldn't be bleaching your flippin' eyebrows. Do you ever think about that? Yeah, I did. And then my mom said I shouldn't do it, so I said, you know what, Mom? I'm gonna do it for you. Okay, um, I think that this is the current situation. And I also think that I am going to be taking a shower cap right now, putting a little water on it, and putting it right over my head. 
and I'm gonna leave it for a little bit and then I'll be back. I'm back y'all. Same crusty shirt every day. But look at my hair. I told my mom it looked like a, um, like if you bought a Weasley from the dollar store. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be keeping my hair like this. Um, to be honest, I did a pretty good job. You can tell, I feel like in some places, there's a little bit of hot rootage, especially like on this side in the front and like down this side a little bit. But overall, it looks pretty good. Like it doesn't even look that bad. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, but anyway, this is exciting. We're going purple. Purple. Oh, sorry, I put that in front of the camera. And also, I bleached my eyebrows, but you see all that in the front? It's still like my hair color, so I have to, um, I have to do it again. So I'm going to mix up a little bit of that and put it on and use plastic wrap this time, because I've seen people do that and it seems to work better than just like putting it on your eyebrows, but they're already pretty light. They match my hair pretty well. But yeah, I think I'm gonna put the eyebrows on after I finish the purple. Okay, so it's mixed. I did use my 30 volume. I don't have anything else. So I don't really know if this is bad, but I'm kind of hoping that it's not because is the only stuff that I have to use. All right. Oh, it's already getting darker. Okay. Um, I'll be back when I have all of this done because I want this video to take literally forever. I'm just cleaning up this um, color that's on my face because so I'd rather not have a pink face. And yes, it is more pink than I thought it would be, but that's okay. It's still cool, it's still fun, it's still fresh, you know. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this right on top of that and leave it on for a few minutes. It's making me sneeze. Hello! I'm gonna take a shower now, but look at my hair and my eyebrows. They gone. I'll see you. Bye.